the first year of 2020 and I've learned so much from 2019 and if you ask me what is the most significant lesson that I learned from 2019 it's this but first let's go back to day one day one <laughs> It's my collab. <laughs> this is what the previous room owner has left for me. Last year was my first year and also my first time in my life teaching at a high school and it was not easy at all but um, through this hardship I learned one thing that's very important in order to help me in this journey in as an educator. Now most of my day last year start with this, a full cup of water. So the water in this cup represents energy and it's not just physical energy it's also like mental energy, the energy to love, to care, to help, to learn, to inspire, to lead. And usually after you wake up, you make breakfast, so you use a little bit of that. And you check your phone, you use a little bit of that. And then you, you go to work, you commute to work, you use a little bit of that. And then you work, which use up most of it. And then you come back from work, and then you left a little bit more for your personal time for your family, your friends, everything. That is not the case in reality. Now usually, this is what happens. You wake up, breakfast, go to work, prepare for work, and then BAM! You finish all your energy after your work. Or sometimes even worse, during your work. What is that? What this is end of week one. Tiger Sing Chi, Gan Sang Jang, Hunter. Huh? Mio Gan Sang. Pao Yen. Pao Yen, so what? Pao Yen. Wow, one hour not enough. We are out here on the mainland. Then you see, so dirty, oh my god. So dirty. I think it lacks a little bit something. I just fixed the net yesterday and this is what happened today. It's not easy to do charity work. Today is the first day of work after a nine days break and this is what happened. See this? And look at all my snacks. Look at all my snacks. Look at all my freaking snacks. Freaking rats. Freaking rats. It's not that they ate all my food, it's that everything is dirty now. I have to take out everything and then clean everything. Well done, rats. Well done, me, for leaving so many food for them. 
One of the most common thing here is that there's no water. I learned the negative impact of this the hard way. Usually after I finish work, I was left with an empty cup. And the relationship between me and my girlfriend and my friends, and more importantly with myself, are really breaking apart. And I don't have energy for anything. Now the first thing is to know how to refill your cup. Some people call it self-care, some people call it finding your anchor. And it is something that fills you, it is something that revitalizes you. Um, it may be workout, it may be just talking to someone, it may be writing, it may be painting, it may be sleeping, anything. The best way is your way. Now the second method that I've learned is to increase the capacity of your cup. Now this, I think most of us don't have to worry too much because as you gain experience, usually your capacity increases. The third one is the one that I want to share with you the most. To think back, it is quite funny because it is just that simple, it is just a shift of mindset. When the relationship with especially my girlfriend is breaking apart, I always try to find ways to conserve the leftover water, to conserve the energy for her. And one day I was having this aha moment like why not I just prepare another cup just for my girlfriend means I have a cup of energy for work and I have another cup of energy for my personal relationship and that's it and this is one of the way that I learned last year which is most effective in maintaining my commitment at work and at the same time be able to commit to the relationship that I have. So in this new year, I hope you will find time to refill your cup, increase the capacity of your cup, and also manage your cup according to your priorities.